I'm black. I collect anime. So get used to it. B dub the anime master. 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 Dragon Ball Z the anime master. B dub the anime master. Dragon Ball Z the anime master. B dub the anime master. What's up, y'all? B dub the anime master is back for anime DVD and Blu-ray reviews. Today I have. Samurai 7, the complete box set. I'm going to be reviewing this today. Stay tuned for the review. This is the uh, 2007 box set release of Samurai 7, released by Funimation Entertainment. Seven discs, seven samurai. Yeah, coincidence, huh? Anyway, I like this box set more than the recently released Viridian Collection box set. You know what I'm saying? Because the packaging is fucking awesome. As far as also, they, they include the uh, the booklets that came with the original limited edition versions that came with the uh, 2005 singles of uh, Samurai 7. So here's the booklets. These guidebooks contain, uh, you know, Japanese production notes, uh, you know, pictures, you know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes with voice actors, directors, animators, writers, you know. They talk about Akira Kurosawa's original film, the inspiration for it. It's, it's great, you know, information and shit to have, it's especially if you're a collector and you want all this collectible ass shit that come with your anime boxes. And, you know, a lot of stuff like this don't come with anime or DVD box sets anymore because, you know, the economy is fucked up, you know. Niggas ain't buying shit, so they got to be cheap with it. Anyway, that was a, a guidebook section. Here is now the box set. It is in a digipack packaging, which I can't stand but at least it's, I, I'll be able to house it in this, you know, that flimsy box over there. But yeah, this is the, one of the main characters, the Seven Samurai. Uh, I think his name is Kyuzo. Um, the other two samurai on here. Great art, by the way, by the original Japanese creators. You know, I love this box art, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's open up the Digipack packaging and see all seven discs. Each disc, I believe, contains some mediocre special, uh, special features. Some discs contain commentary, uh, it's like a commentary track on like every other disc like maybe one on disc one then skip it then disc three skip it disc five you know shit like that but yeah i like the disc art as well very beautifully rendered uh disc art you know all seven samurais you know what i'm saying it's great you know video quality is good as well and it also has a 5.1 audio track for you people that's wondering i'm not going to, going to be over uh, buying samurai seven for you people out there that expect me to throw my anime dvds away just buy blu-ray i'm not gonna do it the Blu-ray is a fucking upscale. I'm not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I believe it's an upscale. If it's not an upscale, still, my DVDs look good anyway. So anyway, let's get to a quick synopsis on Samurai 7. Samurai 7 is a futuristic anime retelling of Akira Kurosawa's uh, Seven Samurai movie that was made back in the 1950s in Japan. A very great and very high regarded uh, action uh, Japanese samurai sword film with a lot of heart and charisma and great character development. This anime retelling um, takes the story and twists it around a little bit. You know, it still has uh, seven samurai, but one of them is like, you know, like a, a huge robot samurai where, you know, he's not really a human and shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's like one of the hardcore differences as far as the character's concerned. And of course, the personalities and stuff has changed a little bit as well. One of the main, uh, I wouldn't say drawbacks, but hardcore difference in this retelling is that most of the enemies are like, robots and, and mechs and droids and shit with huge samurai swords and shit and to mix that with samurai battles i think it was a brilliant idea i actually like the idea of the seven samurai getting together and fighting these huge machines and you know shit like that you know it's a it's an innovative new twist to certain things you know instead of typical mech battling you know what i'm saying it's, it's interesting the story starts off with this group or this uh, village that's really really poor and they are overthrown. They're they're being controlled by these big, huge mech robot uh, samurai things. I forgot what they were called. I haven't seen in a while. Uh, they decide to use all their money that they had left to go search out uh, for a samurai. They recruit once. They try to recruit a, a samurai. One of the main. I, I I would say he's a main character. They try to recruit one of the main samurais, and you know it takes a long time for him to you know, I guess butter up to them and go ahead and do it. So. 
as they, you know, look for more samurai, they end up, you know, find another one after another one after another one. Throughout their whole journey, they find, you know, seven samurai to help them defend the village. Each samurai has a has a different personalities. It's hilarious as hell. There's a lot. There's some bits of comedy. It's very serious when it gets into the later episodes. You know what I'm saying? The animation quality and the art is beautiful. Another beautifully animated Gonzo series. The Japanese animators of Gonzo does a great job mixing in the CG animation with the 2D animation. So check out Samurai 7 if you're a Samurai fan. You want to see some new futurist, uh, futuristic twists on Samurai action and mech action. You know what I'm saying? It's not full on 100% mech. You know, for all you people that think that shit. Watch the series first before you assume. But anyway... Samurai 7 is a great anime series. Check it out. I'm B-Dub, the Anime Master. Peace.